I want you to focus on Jesus, not on the clouds and waves. There are so many things today that can get us into fear, so many things that can get us into a negative headspace, confused, stressed, anxious, and a whole host of other negative things. It's so easy to let what is happening around us to be the main thing. Instead of focusing on Jesus, we find ourselves focusing on everything else that is happening around us. But we need to take our focus off the clouds and the waves and double down on our faith in God. It is critical to our faith and our lives as a whole that we change what we are focusing on because the things that are happening around can damper or let me say kill our faith in God. That's what the enemy wants after all. He is not interesting as letting us live by a little measure of faith. He wants to us to abandon our faith altogether. He wants to kill our faith if possible. There is an age-old quote from an unknown author that comes to mind. If you want to be defeated, look back. If you want to be distracted, look around. If you want to be delivered, look up. Where we are focused is so important. We need to focus on Jesus all the time. I'm not saying we ignore what is happening around us. We are promised that trouble will come, so what we need to do is that when the trouble comes, we turn our focus to Jesus who is our help and strength. He who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the way the Spirit comes to the bones in the womb of a woman with child, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. In the morning sow your seed, and at evening withhold not your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, this or that, or whether both alike will be good. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verses 4 to 6 I have made this mistake so often in my life. I have waited for the right conditions to do what God has told me do and ended up not stepped out and doing the thing God called me to do. But God doesn't want me. He doesn't want us to look at the clouds and the waves, at the circumstances around us before we step out in faith. He wants us to just step out in faith and see Him work even when the circumstances are not perfect right now. The breakthrough we are waiting for starts when we take that first step of faith. So even when the conditions are not right for us, we need to trust in God. We see this illustrated so powerfully in the book of Matthew. The disciples were out at sea and were faced with a storm. They had left Jesus because he told them to go on without him. But they were struggling in the storm, and Jesus saw how they were struggling and went to them by walking on water. When he got to them, they thought he was a ghost and were fearful and terrified. But he assured them that they had no reason to fear because it was him, their master. And that is when Peter asked Jesus if he could come to him, which meant he had to walk on water. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you command me to come to you on the water, he said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on water and came to Jesus. Matthew chapter 14, verse 28. I want you to notice something in that story. Jesus did not calm the raging storm first before telling Peter to walk on water. Wouldn't it have been good for Jesus to speak to the storm first, so as to create a calm environment on the sea for Peter to operate or walk on? But rather than removing the storm, he chose to walk with Peter through it. No wonder God doesn't wait for our environment to be perfect, devoid of trouble, or just right before he asks us to do great things. If you are waiting for the perfect conditions to follow your dream or to do what God has placed in your heart to do, you will never do it. The condition will never be right. 
You must do what God places in your heart, despite your condition or challenge. Let's pray. King Jesus, in the midst of life's storms and uncertainties, we humbly come before you, seeking your strength and guidance. Lord, the challenges we face can often feel overwhelming, and it's easy to lose sight of your promises in the midst of the turbulence. Yet, your word assures us that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. We have looked at the clouds and waves a lot, and because of that, we have not done what you have called us do. We have not stepped out in faith because of that, but your word is very clear. You want us to trust in you. You want us to focus on you alone because in you is where our help and deliverance comes from. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm chapter 121 verses 1 and 2. When our conditions are really bad, when our circumstances looking bleak, we put our faith in you. We rely on you alone to get help us and turn things around in our lives. Even though there seems like their breakthrough won't happen and the answer won't arrive, we will keep on holding on to you. We keep our focus on you. We will not let what's happening around us determine our faith in you. Lord, we don't put our faith in ourselves, in other people, or any other thing. We trust in you. Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before he endured the cross, despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. We fix our eyes on you and not on the clouds and the waves. We know that in you is our deliverance and help. We focus on you. Father, forgive us for the times when we have let fear and doubt overshadow our faith. Like Peter stepping out of the boat, may we have the courage to step out in faith, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Strengthen our faith, Lord, and help us to keep our focus on you, even when the winds of adversity blow around us. We thank you, Father, for your faithfulness and your mercy that are new every morning. In times of trial and testing, remind us of your promises and your goodness. Help us to trust in your perfect timing and plans for our lives knowing that you work all things together for the good of those who love you. Lord, we lift up to you all those who are facing difficult circumstances today. Bring comfort to the brokenhearted, healing to the sick, provision to the needy, and peace to those in turmoil. Let your light shine brightly in the darkness, and may your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.